Hello students, today we will discuss about JEE mains 2015 physics paper. Now we will discuss all the questions one by one. Okay, let us start. Students, let us move to question number 12. It says for a simple pendulum. The graph is plotted between its kinetic energy and potential energy. Between its kinetic energy and potential energy against its displacement. So, this is the displacement. The pendulum swings like that. So, it swings between the two extreme points. So, the main position when the pendulum remains straight. The main position is the origin and from the main position it goes towards right and towards left by equal distance so as it moves from origin say that main position you say it is zero there you keep the coordinate system and as the pendulum moves towards right you already gradually increases and it becomes certain maximum value because the pendulum swings between two extreme points so these are the two extreme points these are the two extreme points the pendulum cannot go beyond this so that is an extreme points here and here here and so like that now kinetic energy versus uh, this is the energy uh, and this is actually wrongly put here this is not energy this should be kinetic energy and uh, the other one it should be potential energy so it should be now, uh, whichever energy it is there, that you have to take. You don't have to take the total energy over here. You have to take the kinetic energy here. When you plot the graph of kinetic energy and potential energy, similarly you take potential energy and here the Anyway, that is okay. Now, <clears throat> in case, so this is a case of uh, simple harmonic motion, SHM. In SHM, the object between two extreme points x is plus and minus f at any time when the object is here moving towards the right or left with certain velocity v the object has mass m this is called oscillator it oscillates and uh, now <coughs> its kinetic energy is given by half m v square the potential energy corresponds to this uh, extension or uh, deviation from main position the potential energy is given by uh, half of k into x square where k is the constant in case of a spring it is called spring constant stiffness constant or it's a force constant this is basically a force constant constant of proportionality that uh, is k that also is uh, m uh, omega square sometimes it is uh, m omega square we write no problem with that now this is the uh, x is uh, this x how far the this is the position of or uh, displacement of the point or the particle if uh, the object is here then it is uh, a thus x value will become a when the object is at mean position, x value is 0, so this will be 0. So, potential energy is 0 at mean position. Potential energy is 0 here, and here the potential energy is maximum. If the potential energy is maximum, the kinetic energy has to be 0. And here the potential energy is 0, so kinetic energy has to be maximum. Because the sum of the two must be constant. So, at any position, even if you take this position, the total energy has to be constant. The sum of this kinetic potential, kinetic potential has to be constant. <clears throat> now, if I see the expression, kinetic energy expression, in terms of uh, distance, because uh, we have to plot the graph of this kinetic energy with respect to distance. So, with respect to distance, I write m equals to half m v square. V is a uh, the formula omega under root of a square minus x square root 
So from here v square is uh, omega square a square minus x square. This is the formula you have to use. If I substitute this uh, formula for velocity and displacement function here, then I will get uh, omega square a square minus x square. Now this m omega square as you can see is k. So it is half of k into a square minus x square. This is the expression for kinetic energy and this is the expression for potential energy. Now you can see here this equation is an equation of parabola because the equation of parabola is uh, this is a quadratic equation of, the, of that form. So if I write uh, it here again and see here the potential energy is found to be half of k x square and you know that this potential energy is taken in this y axis so this is equivalent to my y this is my x in x axis uh, this is taken this is always the distance this is taken so this x is same, same as this uh, distance given in the question so this is d so I can put a D here, no problem, but it's X. Then uh, this uh, is some constant, say A. So right, this is uh, some constant, this is A into X square. That means Y is proportional to X square. Y is proportional to X square is a parabola. If it is a parabola, then uh, it is a uh, concave. Awkward, it is like this type of parabola. And also we know that at x equals to 0, these are the two suppose that these are the two extreme points. This is the point where x is 0, this is the point where x equals to maximum value, and here also maximum value but negative minus a. If I put x equal to 0 in this expression, potential is 0, so, so therefore this is one point. If I put x equal to a, the potential is maximum, maximum is half k a square. Suppose this is the value which is half k x square. This is the point. Similarly, for this also, if I put x equal to minus a, then also it is half k x square. This is the point. So at x equal to 0, this and x equal to a is this. So in between, if you put any value, it will move parabolic like this. From here to here, also it is like that. So it is just a parabola, concave upward. So this is uh, the graph of uh, potential energy versus uh, the distance. Now, uh, what about the graph of uh, kinetic energy? The kinetic energy formula that I got last time, it is half k a square minus x square. Where what is a? a is this extreme point. Okay. Now, if you can see here, first of all, if I put, uh, this is a basically of this form. If I relate just like this, this is my y. If I open the bracket, then this is half uh, k a square minus half k x square. This is a constant, so I'll write suppose this is it might be minus this is another constant, I will say say c and this is x square, this is y. So what I'm getting this is of this form y equals to some constant minus something x square. This is also a parabola. This is also a parabola, but because of this negative sign, it will be inverted parabola. But inverted parabola, but it's uh, you can see it. This is uh, y equals to minus cv square, sorry, cx square, cx square plus d. So you can see I just wrote this again here. This is negative x square means it is inverted parabola. Now y equals to minus cx square plus d. If I plot the curve, this will be inverted uh, parabola. If I have the equation like this, suppose uh, earlier case ax square, then uh, it will start from here. This one, okay. One, one. This is the one. If I multiply minus here, this is minus. Then this will be inverted. This is the graph. Two. This is two. Now here is what. What is the situation? Y is uh, some thing into x square just like this no problem with that this will be the graph but then you have plus b also plus b is there some number is added to this that means 
when x is 0, when x is 0, this y is not 0. Earlier when x is 0, y was 0, whether this case or this case, y is 0. But here, if you put x is 0, then uh, y is not 0, y is b. b is also positive, some number should be here positive. Because this side is negative, so it should be somewhere here. Suppose this distance is b. Then from here, at x equals 0, the graph starts from here. So obviously, this is the inverted one, but plus b means this graph only sits to the distance b, just like that. So plus b means this graph sits up by b amount from origin. So each point gets shifted up by b. So that means if I plot the graph properly, then it should be somewhere here. This should be the graph of this kinetic energy. This is minus a, this is plus a, this is x is 0. So this should be the graph. Potential energy is this, kinetic energy is this. So which one should be the correct answer? If I plot the graph properly, then I will let, let us plot the graph, then see the options. The graph is like this. This is suppose the maximum value. This is suppose uh, left extreme points, this is right extreme point, A, and this is 0. This is how you write D, D or X, no problem that. This is a half A A square is the maximum value, and uh, the potential energy found to be like this. This is the graph of potential energy, U, and this is inverted U. I use this for uh, another color like that. So the black one is uh, potential energy versus distance. The red one is kinetic energy versus distance. Okay. So if I choose the graph, U kinetic energy is not possible. U potential energy is correct because U is potential energy you can see here and the, the inverted is kinetic energy. This is correct. So therefore, the option number 2 is correct. This is the graph. Okay. Thank you.